Hello, welcome back to another video on astrology. Vinod Kumar from Mailapur, Chennai, who's having something interesting to say about Rishi Sunak, the the incumbent uh, Prime Minister of UK. Right, Vinod? Yes, sir. In this context, the mystery is not about uh, why he became the Prime Minister. The mystery is, from an astrological point of view, we want to know what is his time of birth. Right? Absolutely. Because you search all over the internet, I'm sure you will not find any information that guarantees that this is the time of birth. Everybody is guessing. And if you go through some astrological websites, they're only going to always, when time of birth is not known, the standard is 12 noon. Yeah. Okay. So whenever you see 12 noon, you can easily guess or infer that it should be approximate. Because when time is unknown, the usual default is 12 noon because it comes right in the middle of the day. But the reality is that time would have been anything. You have 12 lagna possibilities. Right? You can have the lagna all over the place. Starting from Mesha Rasi, Mesha lagna up to Mina lagna, Pisces ascendant. So, we have expert... Vinod Kumar, who is so seriously inclined uh, to astrology for several years now, he's had the best of teachers and he's so passionate about it. And uh, he has something very interesting to reveal to us today. So over to you, Vinod Kumar. I have already given you the permission to share the screen. Yeah. So thank you so much for uh, being very kind to give me this opportunity to present that's so great of you, sir. And this is a wonderful opportunity to not just talk about, um, you know, how do we see events through the Gemini system and the Vimshotri system? How can we play around with it? How can we understand some of the uh, uh, Raj Yogas and the Dana Yogas, which are the Yogas for position, fame, authority, and also for money? So um, I would attribute this uh, to the greatness of Sri K. N. Rao, who... Um, you know, spread the Jaimini system. Um, and um, he has come up with intense research on, you know, how do you see events with the Jaimini system? Because this is a system which has been, which has not been quite popular, or I would say, um, uh, many, although it is part of the Brihat Parashara Hora Shastra, mm -hmm. um, there have been different views on how to make use of it. So I'm taking, I'm taking a very humble approach here based on the teachings of Sri K. N. Rao. And, um, you know, and how do we, of course, we, as you rightly pointed out, sir, we don't really know what the Lagna is. But based on the positions of planets on that day when he was born, because what we know for certain is the day of birth. And, and based on that, and how do we play around with the time? And how do we actually, uh, you know, narrow down to a two hour time frame is what we are going to take a look at at this point in time. Right. Very good. So, yeah. So that's exactly what we are going to do right now. So let me share my screen for a moment. So as we all know, like, um, you know, for, for people who are not aware, so Rishi Sunak is a British politician who has served as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom since 25th October 2022. And uh, of course, he's the leader of the Conservative Party since 24th October. And uh, he served as the Chancellor of the Exchequer from 2020 to 2022. And also, he has been the member of parliament for Rickmond since 2015. So, which actually means that he started off his political career much before, like, you know, almost seven years before. So, and also, uh, Rishi Sunak was also, you know, born to parents of Indian descent. And uh, he had very great education. He was educated at Winchester College, studied philosophy, politics, economics at Lincoln College. And he earned an MBA from Stanford University as a bright scholar. And um, he also finally married uh, Akshata Murthy, the daughter of Indian billionaire um, Narayana Murthy, right? So this is just a brief um, introduction about Rishi Sunak. So let me share my screen for a minute. Um, so let me know if you can see my screen. Um, so Rishi Sunak was born on 12th May 1980. So as we've already established before, we don't really know his birth time. And uh, what you see here, 9.30 is something which I arrived at. Again, we are not sure if he was born exactly at 9.30. But, you know, what we can do 
uh, of course, uh, yeah, you know, uh, we have certain limitations, right? Although this is kind of speculative, but it has good amount of um, logic and rational behind uh, this using both the Gemini and the uh, Wimshaw 3 system, right? So what I want to first highlight is the fact that, you know, on the day of uh, his birth, right? Um, using the Gemini system. So let me turn on the degrees here for a minute so that it is much more clearer. Right? Yeah, so degrees I have, and minutes. Yes, degrees and minutes here. Mm -hmm. And I also want to turn on the uh, a Karakas, Gemini Karakas. So, so I have two screens here. Um, so one screen where I have all the Gemini Karakas. We just want to look at the chart from a Gemini perspective. And another screen where I have the nakshatras and the degrees. So this is just to quickly look at it from a Vimshotari perspective. And um, maybe we can have another screen where we can just pull the uh, Vimshotari Dasha, right? And the Chara Dasha as well. And we can just play around with the time to see like what exactly happens. So I just want to start off by just giving a very important clue here, right? How did, uh, what inspired me to do this kind of a research, right? So first, if you if we carefully observe the uh, you know degrees of planets on the day of his birth, right, sir? So I just want to make sure that let us start off with you know midnight. Okay. okay? So because the time could be any time between midnight to twenty three fifty nine, right? Correct. So with the date of birth, so, right? So depending upon now depending upon the time, the Karakas, now as uh, for your viewers who are not aware of the Gemini system, Gemini has Karakas based on the degrees of the planets. The planet with the strongest degree, with the highest degree, is called the Atma Karaka or the soul, which, which is equivalent to the Lagna, Lagna Lord in the Vimshotri system. And it goes on. The planet with the second highest degree is the Amatya Karaka. The third highest degree is the Bratra Karaka. The fourth highest degree is the Matra Karaka. Fifth highest degree is the Putra Karaka. Sixth highest degree, which is which has the significations of the sixth, eighth, and the twelfth house themes, which is referred to as the Nyati Karaka (GK), and then the seventh highest degree is the Dara Karaka. So, for the purpose of using this, uh, you know, Karakas, we we are going to use the Sri Kendrao search techniques, where you know we don't use Rahu as the Karaka. We are going to ignore Rahu as the Karaka. And so th that's why you see that Rahu, there's no Karaka against Rahu, right? So with this context being said, if you actually take a look at what are the Karakas on that day, right? It is very quite evident that sun, sun is at 27 degrees, 47 minutes. And this is not going to change through the entire day, right? Now, what can change? Mercury is at 26 degrees, 3 minutes. That is also not going to change. And Venus is going to be at 6 degrees. Jupiter is at 7 degrees. Mars is at 8 degrees. So clearly, Jupiter, Mars is nowhere in the competition to become the Atma Karaka. Neither is Saturn, neither is Venus, right? And Saturn is also not going to be part of the competition because Saturn probably might compete to be the Amatya Karaka. We will address that in a moment, right? But if you actually look at um, you know, whether Saturn could be the Atma Karaka, it clearly cannot be the Atma Karaka, no matter what time you uh, switch over to, right? Because Saturn is at 26 degrees 42 minutes, and clearly Sun is at 27, 27 degrees 47 minutes. So Sun clearly has the uh, highest possibility of becoming the Atma Karaka. But why am I saying this? I will come to it in a moment. And if you look at uh, Moon, Potentially, moon can become the Atma Karaka depending upon the time of birth. Now, for example, I fixed the time of birth to midnight 12. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just push the time of birth by one hour. So, I hope uh, this one hour is visible, sir. Yes, so, yes. If I'm going to move this 12 to 1, sun continues to be the Atma Karaka. Moon is at 23 degrees. If I move it to 2, Sun continues to be the Atma Karaka. If you actually carefully look at Saturn, it's now nowhere in the race. Sun continues to be the Atma Karaka. Likewise, if I keep shifting, move, move the birth time by one hour, 
three o'clock sun continues to be the atma karaka four o'clock sun continues to be the atma karaka five o'clock sun continues to be the atma karaka so just for the sake of simplicity in case uh, do we do you actually see the degrees clearly sir otherwise i yes. will probably remove all the no no, no we are able to we are able okay. to see clearly see it so okay so if i move it to six o'clock sun continues to be the atma karaka okay so now the interesting part is that now if i move it to seven o'clock sun is the atma karaka eight o'clock sun is the atma karaka but if you look at the degrees of the moon it is going to approach the last it is has already crossed the last navamsha of pisces or it is going to approach it it is in a position to actually you know uh uh overtake the sun's degree or it might sun moon will shortly become uh you know the greater atma than 28 degrees and it has the potential to become the atma garaka but yes. it is only for a brief period of time it cannot so if if we move by one hour at nine o'clock sun is the atma garaka but if you look at the degrees of sun at nine it is at 28 degrees nine minutes and moon is at 28 degrees six minutes so saturn has already become the mk so it can no way compete to become the ak and of course we already know that jupiter mars and venus are no way in the race for becoming the atma karaka exactly right and then if we again further now now now, now that we've already reached 9 am now i want to find a, i want to adjust the time with a uh, you know with, with with a fine precision now i'm mm. just going to adjust the time by 10 minutes to see mm. what is the point at which sun loses the status of the atma karaka and possibly moon becomes the atma karaka so if i move the time to 9 10 we see that moon has already taken the role of the atma karaka so i want to clearly see at what minute did the moon take the role of atma karaka so i am just going to further adjust this time by uh one minute i'm just going, minute. going to go back in time by one minute to see that particular instant of time when moon took the role of atma karaka and i'm going to make a note of that time okay why we'll come to that in a moment so if i move the time by one minute or yeah 95 so moon is the atma karaka 94 at 94 sun is the atma karaka and at 95 moon becomes the atma karaka now this raises an interesting question as to whether now now i have a question in my mind so i don't even know the lagna and i don't even know the birth to our time frame so i am starting my analysis just with the karakas the reason okay. being the st- the reason being someone with uh being able to achieve a very high status as that of a politician in the jaimini system the atma karaka has a very key role to play so it is almost equivalent to the lagna lagna lord so it has been observed through research and through several articles of shri kn rao that the atma karaka has the capability of forming of course it is part of bphs and of course it is past part of the jaimini sutras as well because the atma karaka amatya karaka combination is a jaimini raj yoga the atma karaka dara karaka combination is a jaimini raj yoga the ak pk is a jaimini raj yoga and the ak and the fifth lord is a jaimini raj yoga when i say and it means either association or aspect through rashi drishti now in jaimini we use rashi drishti so all the uh, chara chara signs aspect all the fixed signs except the one next to it so if you look at aries all the grahas in aries will aspect all the grahas in leo and it will also aspect aquarius because aquarius and leo are fixed signs and they are not the one next to it so so all these grahas receive mutual aspect likewise all the grahas in leo will receive the aspect of all the grahas in aries therefore this is equivalent to a mutual sambandha therefore all these karakas are as if it is in, in a mutual sambandha so the combination of atma karaka along with amatya karaka or pk dk fifth lord is 
forms Jaimini Rajyogas. So obviously for someone like Rishi Sunak, who is becoming the Prime Minister of Brit uh, Britain at, at a, such an early age, so it is very inviting for an astrologer or it is very tempting for an astrologer to, you know, look at from a Jaimini perspective to find out, to at least start off with a note that the Atma Karaka and the Amatya Karaka should be strong and should be involved in very strong Jaimini Rajyogas. So now if we look at the sun, which plays an important role in politics, government, and also any kind of royal honors or, you know, it because sun is treated like the king, it is the Kshatriya and all that. So all the Karakatvas of sun, right? So clearly sun is exalted in the chart, which is, of course, that does not by itself account for why he is very much significant, why he has achieved these heights. There are many other factors which we have to stack up. But the first impression that I got by looking at the sun was that sun was at a very strong dignity or a status. And if you look at the Jaimini Karakas, sun is at the at 9.5 a.m. it becomes the Amatya Karaka. But at 9.4 a.m., till 9.4 a.m. it is the Atma Karaka. Now, the next question is, till when, so 9.5 a.m., moon takes the role of the Atma Karaka. So now I'm interested to know, till when will moon be the Atma Karaka? So if you look at how the degrees of the moon, it is very clear that until moon crosses Pisces and gets into Aries, it has the opportunity of, you know, becoming the Atma Karaka. Beyond that, it cannot become the Atma Karaka because the degrees of the moon will be in the early degrees of Aries and it has to become the Dara Karaka, which is the lowest degrees, right? So let it be the Dara Karaka or it can even probably be the Nyati Karaka. But one thing is very clear that it cannot become the Atma Karaka. So the only possibility or only time frame when moon can take the role of the Atma Karaka is we are going to determine the time frame. So let me move the time by one hour. So 9.5 is when moon took the role of Atma Karaka. So if I move the time to 10.5, it is still the Atma Karaka. If I move it to 11.5, it is still the Atma Karaka. But sun has become the Amatya Karaka because of its degrees. Now if I move it to 12.5, moon has entered Aries. So between 9.5 to 12.5 is when the moon can become the Atma Karaka, right? So now I make a note of that separately. So what I want to do is I just want to make a note of this point. Between 9.5 to 12.5, moon becomes the AK, Atma Karaka. And before 9.5, before 9.5 a.m., sun is the Atma Karaka. And now the next question is after 12.5 p.m., right? Obviously, sun is the Atma Karaka. I'm sorry. Yeah. After 12.5 p.m., no matter what time we take, sir, so whether we whether we move it by one hour, if you will notice that sun will continue to be the Atma Karaka till night. Correct. And There's no other way. It has to be the Atma Karaka, right? So, yes. so, so this made me to, you know, make a note of three key points before 9 a.m., 5 a.m., whatever be the time, that is from midnight, 12 to 9, 5 a.m. So maybe just for the for a, for a quick confirmation, I can just check just to ensure that at morning. Yeah, it should be, but yes, just for a quick confirmation. At 00, zero sun was the Atma Karaka. Okay. So from 00, zero to 9, 5 a.m., before 9, 5 a.m., sun is the Atma Karaka. From 9, 5 to 12, 5, moon takes a lead and becomes the Atma Karaka. And after 12.5 p.m., regardless of whatever time, it is still 23.55 p.m. Sorry, yeah, 23.55 p.m., sun will be the Atma Karaka, right? So now, looking at this race, career race, obviously, you know, from the Jaimini perspective, it is very tempting to say that the potential, the possibility of him, of Rishi being born between... 9.5 to 12.5 is very, very negligible because it is very tempting for me to see sun as the Atma Karaka being exalted and in association with Mercury, right? Now, the next question is, I would like to see Mercury as the Amatya Karaka because Atma Karaka, Amatya Karaka is, almost, is considered to be as 
one of the superior topmost raj yogas in the gemini system so now the next confusion is whether mercury is the bk or the amatya karaka so how did i resolve this confusion before even getting into that i want to ensure that moon is not the atma karaka right so i decided to take a look at the vimshottari dasha that the potential vimshottari dasha that would come into play if he was born before 12:00 pm versus if he was born after 12:00 pm so now this makes it very interesting and why am i doing it because if he is becoming the prime minister today definitely the graha or the dasha lord should be involved in some very key raj yogas combination as per the brihat parashara purashastra and it should be so tempting for me to say that well this should be the dasha lord right so i want to fix that first so what do i do is now i go to the dasha page and i just uh, for the sake of okay let me um start with the vimshottari dasha and let me just increase the height so that um, you know it's it's clear so if i start the vimshottari dasha now if i am just going to point it to now okay so that if he was born at 12 he would have been in the last today now right now he would be in the last end of sandasha okay so if i move the time by you know 1 hour any 1 am so he gets into moon dasha and if i keep moving the time it is very clear that until night 2359 he is either in his moon dasha or mars dasha right yeah he should be either in his moon dasha or mars dasha so that's a that's another important hint so let me make a note of that so vimshottari says that he that rishi should either be running the dasha of the moon, dasha of moon so if this is not probably visible i will just this is the face okay okay so this is visible right so yeah. he should be either running the dasha of the moon or mars okay so now i want to find out like what would be the time until when he will the next question is what would be the time until when he would be running the dasha of moon beyond when he would be running the dasha of mars i want to look at that and before that i just want to look at how moon is in the chart versus how is mars in the chart right so if i look at the moon uh so um yeah so let me just quickly go on to the vimshottari dasha right so um i'm sorry just a minute um yeah so if he was born between just a minute i just yeah okay so i i decided that he should be born i mean sun has to be the atma karaka because it is involved in the atma karaka amatya karaka combination so let me move the time back to let's say yeah so the we arrived at two possibilities one is he should be either in the dasha of moon or mars so if i look at moon and if i look at the time till when he would be running the dasha of moon so i will have this dasha page open and i will just push the time by one hour so till 9 till 10 till 11 till 12 he is running the dasha of moon <clears throat> till 1 o'clock that is 1 pm if he was born anywhere before 1 pm he is still running the dasha of moon so in order to further finally narrow down as to till what minute he will be dash, running the dasha of moon if i move it right so so if i move it to 13 5 13 10 13 15 13 20 13 25 13 30 yeah so 13 45 13 40 13 35 so at even if he was born any time before 13 35 he would still be running the dasha of moon and the antar dasha of sun right so if okay. i look at uh, you know just look at the condition of the moon i think at that at some point um we saw that um moon okay i think i don't have the degrees here so quickly let me uh, show the degrees yeah so if i look at just moon by itself 
moon is not associated with any grahas in the chart. In so fact, that's an interesting so, point, right? So yeah, that's it's but, not associated with any grahas in the chart. Mm -hmm. Well, depending upon the lagna, maybe it is the ninth lord in the fifth house or tenth lord in the fifth house. Okay. But but will that placement alone be enough to give this kind of a rise? So it means okay. that moon should definitely, if if the dasha of moon was operating at the time of his prime ministership, right? Moon should be in exceptional yogas where like it has to be like in. Maybe it should be a samanda of the fifth lord or the tenth lord, like how Kendra Trikona samanda or a K, uh, like fifth lord, ninth lord samanda. Something should be going on. But I, I, I see that until noon, moon is alone. In fact, in fact, if you look at moon from the moon, Jupiter falls in the sixth, and uh, this is uh, in Faladipika. There is a yoga which is called the Sakata Yoga, which is defined by. When Jupiter falls in 6, 8, 12 from the moon and is not Swakshetra, Mula Trikona or exalted. So, in this case, Jupiter is not Swakshetra, Mula Trikona or exalted. So, it does moon does not form any yogas by association and it, it is not in Yuti with any Graha also. So, I am like surprised how can moon dasha give this kind of a rise? Right? In fact, if you look at moon is a 10-year dasha period. Okay? So, now he he's right now he is if, if he was at moon he he um, was a member of parliament right from the 2015 so no way can moon explain the level of success that mars could potentially explain so i thought like okay well then if any time till so so this this clearly made me come to a conclusion that moon okay. cannot be in places so, so what do you think, sir? Do you think this is a logical interpretation? Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, because yeah. So uh, this is a, yeah. Because I, so, I think uh, you are uh, looking out for uh, uh, Jaimini Raj Yogas, and when you see Moon alone, uh, the, okay, that's the idea you're using, right? And then right. it is also so, not that great, uh, even from Parashari's point of view. Yes. So now, on one side, I want to fix the Atma Karaka. And I'm very much interested to fix Sun as the Atma Karaka, which is 80% of the case, except that 9 to 12 time frame, Sun will continue to be the Atma Karaka. Now, my instinct says somehow I should reject that 9 to 12 time frame because I don't want Moon to become the Atma Karaka. I want Sun to be the Atma Karaka because Sun is indicates royalty, government, and yes. you know, power and exalted. So somehow my instinct says that. I should find some reason to eliminate Moon as the Atma Karaka. Now I'm searching for that reasons. On so, this and screen, I, I found, uh, yeah. you know, on this screen, you can also insert the Karakas um, in the text revealing the Karaka, right? Because uh, all the discussion is about the Karakas, right? So even in oh, that, okay. even in that sheet also, uh, okay, you would have just inserted. So you mean the, this sheet, sir? No, what you are now discussing now, uh, right? In, no, no, oh, the next okay. one. I see, I see. This one. Uh, maybe I should use this. This is the correct sheet. No, but there you are missing out on the Charadasa and Vimshotri. Oh, right? I see. So oh, okay. on that page so the... that you have Chara and Vimshotri together, if you uh -huh. can insert uh, the the Chara Karakas, okay. as per Jaimini Sutras, then as you speak, you know people will be following the logic of uh, okay. Oh, Moon I see. Is I see. Oh, I'm yeah. so sorry. I'm yeah. so. Sorry. Yeah. So the thing is, um, I just wanted to. The problem is, um, you know here we do have the so what i will do is probably you know i i will just keep um, mm, yeah i think this is visible but then this yeah, is the something in chart this is the south i understand what you're saying yeah you wanted to show yeah. the other one right okay yeah north indian i wanted to see show the south indian north indian and also the vimshotri in one page but apparently it is very yes uh, you very cannot fit it uh, yeah, yeah yeah so we will have to spend some more time to you know accommodate in the interest of time so what right. i will do is uh, yeah, so this is the um, uh, degrees plus AK. Yeah. yeah. So you see, this is the North Indian chart. But apparently, you know, sir, when someone has to learn, learn the Jaimini system, we have mm -hmm. to resort to the South Indian chart because it is very difficult to do Jaimini using the North Indian, although some people are still, you know, comfortable with it. But, Correct. you know, that way, that way, right? So, so the gist here is that I'm finding out some reason to eliminate Moon as the Atma Karaka. And I know that it can be the Atma Karaka only between 9 to 12. 
but okay. between 9 to 12 not only between 9 to 12 any time till 1 pm it will be moon dasha in vimshotri okay. and i am not convinced that moon dasha can give this level of political success mm. so that makes me clearly eliminate moon dasha itself so i am my i am like more or less convinced at looking at mars jupiter rahu saturn sambandha now let us say he continues to be grow you know uh, politically for the next 20 years so if you look at the next dasha mars dasha is followed by rahu dasha rahu dasha is followed by jupiter dasha jupiter mm. dasha is followed by saturn dasha so it is a logical argument that uh, the same mars rahu jupiter saturn which are forming those yogas in the leo will probably continue to repeat throughout his life from mars okay. he will move to rahu rahu will rahu will in fact amplify the results which are mag- uh, you know it will give uh, 5x or 10x the results that mars is going to give by those yogas so mm. it is very convincing that he has to be running the mars dasha and on the other hand it is not at all convincing that he should be running the moon dasha because moon is not forming any yogas so that made me eliminate that he should not be born before 130 pm okay okay well there is always a possibility that somewhere in the d10 or somewhere moon could be some yoga huh. okay yeah, something could be there but okay. we will just go by what we know 90 percentage of the time right yeah. whatever it's it is whichever is very obvious we will keep it simple and we will go with that assumption so if we take um, you know 1 pm so 1 pm moon enters aries so i i eliminated that uh, i eliminated uh, the janma rashi as pisces and i decided that he should be born only after 1 pm so that he will enter the mars dasha and mars will be very much convincing for me to say that he is running the dasha of mars now and and of course if i eliminate before 1 pm if he is born after 1 pm automatically the confusion of atma karaka is also resolved because sun will have to be the atma karaka correct sir correct now i am very clear okay so unless someone brings a very unique theory to say that well moon can still be in pisces he can run the dasha of vimshotri dasha of moon and still be very famous in moon dasha which is very very less likely so that's a so i i don't want to go with that approach so i just want to safely eliminate that 1 percentage or 2 percentage because what we are definitely doing is a speculation based on lot of astrological principles but we want to do a very logical speculation and a more convincing speculation in accordance to without deviating from parashara principles and the gemini principles so now clearly my confusion is sorted out it not only solves the confusion of who is the atma karaka but because i eliminated the time before 1 pm and i am putting a time after 1 pm it also makes mercury the amatya karaka and it has made it easier for me to say the atma karaka and amatya karaka are together okay. forming a significant jaimini raja yoga now what is the chara dasha that is a different story we will come to that because we now you have to fix the lagna but one thing is very clear now if i move this one hour to 30 minutes 15 minutes and move it before if i move it before from 2 pm to 1:45 pm as soon as moon entered pisces the confusion of atma karaka amatya karaka is resolved now no one can from 1:45 pm till 11:59 pm it is very clear that ak has to be sun and amk has to be mercury correct sir okay. so okay so that now it gives me a lot of clarity now without even knowing what is the lagna maharishi parashara has said ak amk is a raj yoga yeah right and in uh, according to ken shri ken rao sir system a- ak amk raja yoga and now if you look at the uh, charadasha okay before even going to the charadasha because charadasha cannot be explained without fixing the lagna now i know that it, the time should be after 145 so now i am interested to know if he is born after 145 okay what could be the possible lagnas right so now if i move i just let me go to a point where it is exactly moon enters uh aries so 057 okay we know uh, suppose you you make moon the atma karaka okay just uh, just pulling it back 
um, to the highest possibility. Yeah, I'm just uh, giving you like uh, anything greater than 28 degrees and it becomes the Atma Karaka. Okay, if that is true, uh, yeah, uh, I think you can bring it back. Yeah. Then uh, the moon will be at the last Navamsha, right? Correct. So moon will be at the last Navamsha, which means even in Navamsha, uh, the moon has to be in Vagotama. Correct. In so that will become the Karakamsa Lagna. Correct, sir. Yes. Right. So there is a rule in Jaimini Sutra uh, that if the second from Karakamsa Lagna has the sun, mm -hmm. I think uh, it goes like this Tatra uh, something Ravi, you know, something like that. And then yeah. Uh, it says political, government, and uh, kingly, something like that. Because he has just mentioned two, three things about the second house from Karakam Shalakna in that chapter. So, right. so there, if you use, if you say the sun mm -hmm. is the Amatya Karaka, which is again, you know, I think uh, the normal language minister, and that is right. exalted in the second. Sometimes people can argue like that using Jemini Sutra alone as a reference. From Karakam Shalagna, the second uh, having the sun. I'm just keeping, you know, uh, this before you because it, it might come up in the comments. I'm I'm sure somebody might point out uh, to this rule. Yes, okay. sir. Correct, sir. Yeah. So yeah. the reason, so so in order to resolve this confusion, now if moon is at 29 degrees, let's say moon is in the Atma Karaka. Mm. So, well, from the Karakam Lagna, or, you know, it's a very nice point that sun and Mercury in the second, that is forming a yoga. But mm. somewhere I am convinced that, you know, or I feel that the Atma Karaka by itself should be involved in any important yogas. But if, if you look at the Atma Karaka moon, now moon Venus is actually a Dana Yoga as per uh, the Jaimini system. Okay. Because all the uh, uh, grahas in the Dvishwa Bhava Rashis will aspect each other. Mm. But, and it yes, it also forms a AK-DK combination. So mm. how do we resolve this confusion is because is is using the Vimshatri Dasha. If Moon okay. was in Pisces, then he is not running the Dasha of Mars. He is running okay. the Dasha of Moon. Then again, it comes to a point where I am searching for why. Okay, Vargotama Moon Vargotama is making Moon strong, but in a way, it is also making it weak because it is waning and it is approaching Amavasya. Okay. Right. So I don't know. Like you know. I mean, just moon, weighing. Um, when you weigh uh, uh, the plus and minus, you feel yes. uh, so, the moon can't be okay. Yeah, so 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 the moon uh, and Atma Karaka has to be really strong by means of Pakshabala. Mm -hmm. Moon, if if moon was probably approaching Purnima or close to Purnima, then maybe we could have considered okay. Number one, so number it's not two, a bright. Uh, it's not a bright moon. Number two, it's mm -hmm. also that the moon by itself is not that that, that is in the Vimshotri system. Moon is alone and it is not forming any significant Raja Yogas by virtue of a, a mutual Sambandha or okay. by Yuti. On the other hand, on the conversely or on the, on the other hand, on the contrary, it is forming a Shakata Yoga. So that yeah. is like, you know, which Shakata Yoga, which says financial struggles and, uh, you know, uh, in, uh, something like that, right? Uh, the, the interpretation in Faladipika. So okay. somewhere I am not very convinced that Moon Dasha can give this kind of a rise, especially okay. when Moon is losing Pakshabala and it is not forming any yogas mm. and uh, so that so therefore I clearly while it can be a good argument that moon can be an Atma Karaka maybe but if moon is the Atma Karaka then the Vimshotri Dasha should be moon which cannot be the case okay. is my uh, logical uh, uh, okay. you know, inference okay okay so I mean so that this made... is fair enough right you are having a hypothesis and uh, this is definitely a scientific approach because most of science starts with a hypothesis mm -hmm, yes, and sir. then uh, you'll have to go for further. Yes. So, um, uh, so, so that made me, you know, uh, think that move the time to a point when Mars okay. Dasha will start. So if okay. I, if you look at Mars, when Mars Dasha will exactly start, it is at, um, if he was born any time after 1335. So if I further go by the minute, Right. So, mm. if he was born any time after, if he was born thirteen thirty-seven p.m. or later, any time during the day, he will be running Mars Dasha, and it will be very convincing to say that Mars is involved in all these yogas here, 
Mm. And the next Mahadashas are also all coming in sequence here. Mm. This is giving me a very nice feel, which means okay. that you know next next Dashas oh. should be very good because of okay. this union of of all these uh, conglomeration of all these grahas here. Okay. So now that we have fixed it as Mars Dasha, now it mm. makes it very easier that it has to be either Leo Lagna, mm. very possible because Lagna Lord is exalted in the ninth, and okay. it is. You know, in Lagna, you have the fifth lord, and it is fifth lord and ninth lord is in Leo, very possible. But I don't want to jump into conclusions. Okay, Leo is definitely a very logically sound uh, Lagna, right? So what we did was we we uh, we eliminated uh, that time before thirteen forty five or whatever um, because Mars came because Moon cannot be Moon is Moon is not involved in any yogas. And okay. it would be the moon dasha involved in uh, yogas, and it is, and it cannot so it cannot be moon dasha, uh, uh, and uh, moon period, and okay. now we come to Mars, and we also clearly see a very good confluence that Mars Rahu Jupiter Saturn is coming into picture. Now, okay, if it is if it has to be after thirteen thirty seven p.m., then the lagna should be either Leo, Virgo, Libra, or for the sake of you know understanding, let's move it by two hours and see mm. like what are the possible lagnas till eleven midnight. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, midnight. So it can only be anywhere from Leo to Sagittarius. Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. So with just the Gemini, the power of the Gemini system, the Atma looking at some getting some instincts about the Atma Karaka, Amatya Karaka, looking at what possible dasha he should run, we have eliminated seven out of. Twelve lagnas. So this okay. is this is like fascinating. First to the, begin yeah. with, at least this is okay. looking like so, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> yeah. So we have eliminated not just it's not even six or five. It, we will eliminated like more than fifty percentage of the lagna, which is like seventy percentage of the lagnas have been eliminated by this. Okay. Now, so it has to be either Leo or Virgo or Libra or Scorpio or Sagittarius. Now, I am safely keeping Sagittarius as the last option. Okay. Last possibility because okay. because if you look at the time frame, if I cycle the title of this, and if I look at when the Sagittarius lagna would raise, it will raise between eleven twenty two p.m. and one nineteen a.m. So the okay. probability that he was born in that particular time frame is very very minimal. So my okay. last priority would be Sagittarius because I have two lagnas which are much more convincing. That is Leo okay. and Scorpio. I will come to why the Leo and Scorpio are very convincing. And Virgo and Libra are not convincing in a moment. Okay, mm. so now if I go back to if I go back in time two hours, if I move all the way up to one one thirty seven. Now first it can be Leo Lagna. I don't want to I don't want to conclude, but I'll keep that as an option. Okay, because if it is Leo Lagna, Jupiter will be Mars, Dasha Lord, will be the ninth Lord involved in an exchange. In fact, there is a parivartana between the first house and the ninth house. Okay. Actually speaking, this was another reason why I was so tempted to say that he should be running Mars Dacha because Moon is not involved in any parivartana yoga or significant yogas. But on the other hand, Mars is involved in a parivartana yoga, right? Mars yes. and Sun, which are two grahas which indicate Shatriya and which are indicates politics and all that, are involved in a parivartana yoga. And mm. that if for that yoga to operate, somehow that dasha should come. So that would, that made me, you know, arrive at okay, it should be Mars dasha. Okay, okay. And anyway, right. uh, Moon is a female or uh, feminine, and uh, Mars is the man right. and the leader, man and, and commander. Uh, you know, yeah, strength, soldier and commander, yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, all of that, ambition, yeah. passion, right. and all that. So yes, yes, right. And also now, now we now that we've eliminated seven lagnas for mm. Leo lagna, Mars is the ninth lord. And fourth mm. lot, which is the Yoga Karaka planet, as per the Yoga Karaka chapter number one. It number is two, in with, number two, you can it? say Mars is MK. Yeah. <laughs> so something to do with uh, getting into ten Downing. <laughs> yes, sir. Definitely, sir. That is uh, that's a very nice point, sir. And okay. also. Mars is uh, going by the Vimshatri system. Yoga Karaka chapter of Brahma Parashara or Shastra. Mars mm. is clearly the Yoga Karaka as it, you, as it rules the one Kendra Sthana and one Trikona Sthana. 
ఫిఫ్త్డ్ and the fourth lord so yes. it's a four five it's a kendra trikona sambandha and also in the raj yoga chapter one of the superior raj yogas or it is called the trikona maharaj yoga which is defined by when the um, you know uh, fifth lord and ninth lord are in sambandha okay five nine uh, uh, yoga is supposed to be a very significant yoga and that too it is happening in the lagna which is involving the lagna which indicates the native okay right? it is happening in mars dasha so it is very convincing that maybe it could be leo okay okay uh, and meanwhile uh, vinod uh, on the top anyway at the bottom you are having d9 navamsha on right. the top can you make it to dashamsha just just in case yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i wanted to make it so okay. d10 yeah, yeah let it right. be uh, dashamsha yeah so maybe what i should do is um, i think uh, yeah for the sake of um, you know i'll i'll make this a north indian chart chart so that uh, oh. for the benefit of people i can make this north indian so oh, this okay. is the d1 yeah and we will have oh. the d10 here beautiful yeah yeah so at least yeah, at least that uh, much we can do right i know yeah i know it is very small but small, you know correct. for yeah. from the perspective of jaimini you know we need to have a big south indian chart so mm. and interestingly um uh, i was going to say something yeah so in the d10 uh, so, 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 but one thing sir the limitation is that we may not be able to arrive at what the navamsa lagna or d10 lagna is because it okay, is okay fine tune we need not fine tune we can yeah. uh, make maybe uh, anyway uh, the ascendant is right in the middle right at present so yeah. we will keep it in the middle and uh, i mean we will maybe later on after a month we will try to adjust the exact degree if possible <laughs> yeah. by getting more so, events correct so now the question is first in the d1 how do we resolve this confusion can it be leo lagna very possible because it is yes. a 19 mahaparivartana yoga pi 9 trikona rajyoga so many things, so many things. Yes. and yeah. not just that if you look at the entire dasha sequence mars rahu mm. jupiter saturn he will be a king throughout his life because in next to next dasha is kind all of all of them know, are very, good very convincing so but i but i still did not want to jump into conclusion i wanted to keep this aside and one more thing sir if you look at the uh, before even going into vimsha 3 now that we have fixed what the time frame should be mm. now this ak mk is not only forming a maharaj yoga combination but raj yoga combination but atma karaka is at 28 degrees 20 minutes which means it is in the last navamsha and therefore the atma karaka in the navamsha will go to sagittarius correct and as per as per as per the kendra Uh, there are different uh, systems of you know using the karakamsha lagna some people say that you know you should use it in the navamsha but kn rao sir in his book has highlighted that take the position of the atma karaka going in the navamsha and bring it back to the rasi chart and then see what is the karakamsha lagna put it yeah. put that karakamsha lagna in the rasi in, chart so yeah yeah so that in way in sagittarius yes so that way sagittarius becomes the karakamsha lagna correct right so that is very clear whatever time he is born sagittarius is the karakamsha lagna now interestingly there is a jaimini sutra which says it gives a lot of importance to the fifth house from karakamsha lagna because fifth house, fifth house is defined as the rajya or the authority to rule uh, in in not just in bphs the also, crown yeah yes correctly crown mukuta and, yes and also shri kn rao sir has repeatedly used fifth house for many because it is also the purva punya sthana it is also ninth from yes ninth from the ninth Correct. and uh, all these things so now if you look at what is going on from the karakamsha lagna ak amk dk Correct. the ak and amk is forming a superior raj yoga in the fifth from the karakamsha lagna mm. and in the uh, in parashara hora shastra the lagna lord and fifth lord in sambandha either in the lagna or in the fifth house is referred to as a maharaj yoga in the parashara 
yoga which is a yoga chapter right correct same thing is extended to if you if you extend the same thing to jaimini it it follows a similar pattern where ak and amk which is considered to be the top two charaka rakas which can form a, a jaimini raj yoga jaimini raj yoga these two these two either in association in the lagna or the fifth house forms a maharaj yoga in the jaimini system correct so clearly ak amk is forming a maharaj yoga here in as it is falling fifth from the karakamsha lagna karakamsha lagna okay five nine and connection what? again and again it is showing something more and more right so yes sir see that and now. also if you interpret uh, you know uh, the um, uh, yeah if you interpret also there is uh, another approach where you use the karakamsha lagna and you can actually read as if it is a lordship nine if you look at that then the ninth lord is in sambandha with the 10th lord in the fifth house from the karakamsha lagna any 9 10 connection is uh, Ra- maharaj yoga right even according correct. to marshi parash correct. correct so mm-hmm. that is happening you can uh, use as if sagittarius is the, uh, the, lagna. the karakamsha lagna and okay. you can also interpret it that way not correct. just that if you use sagittarius as the karakamsha lagna and look at what is going on in the fifth house it is not just the sun mercury but mm. who are the ninth and the 10th lords okay. but it is sun and mercury in some sun mercury moon in sambandha with all the planets in Juk, in leo forming Correct. ak mk ak pk ak fifth lord ak everything yeah, yes. all possible potential uh, rajyogas so this was Correct. another important reason for you know being very much convinced that sun has to be his ak mercury has to be his mk mk So, I mean, this is a remarkable uh, piece of research. I think you should uh, file for copyright. Okay. <laughs> sir, I don't think that, that I, I deserve that much. But, but yeah. Um, so, Because who, very... uh, who would have even dreamt of, uh, you know, uh, shifting the, in a Jemini Karakas in a, in a one day chart, right? Right from right. morning till, uh, you know, for 24 hours. I mean, it's a, it'll be a lesson even in Jemini Sutra itself. right more than even if we are trying to you know whether we yeah, find yeah. Uh, his exact time of birth or not uh, it at least exposes a lot of techniques so students right. who are uh, just got started into jaimini sutras are going to definitely find it interesting yeah and also sir in uh, it is this, this is not just the karakamsha lagna but it is also the aruda lagna therefore oh. Oh. it repeats oh, yeah. from the aruda lagna correct Mm. And, oh uh, the, if you if you actually look at uh, sutras which says fifth from aruda lagna huh? mm. you will see that all the grahas which are forming not only fifth from karakamsha but also fifth from aruda lagna okay which is bringing in an another interesting point mm. and uh, yeah so we have enough reasons to believe that sun is and sun ak mk and all that jupiter saturn mars all these we have enough reasons to believe exactly so with that being said now the next question is okay leo is very convincing now i want to move to virgo to see whether mm. it is leo or virgo now if i move to virgo now rishi sunak will still run the mars dasha because we have established that till night it is mars dasha but what happens to mars for a virgo lagna chart as per parashara and uh, i need to thank you sir because you you have been one of my first teachers and there have been times when i have uh, troubled you with lot of questions and i'm very thankful to you for this because one of you 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 are very gracious to say that you know this should be a paper and all that but i think this has evolved through the blessings of all my teachers and one of my important teacher is you right otherwise i would not have gotten this kind of uh, knowledge to think about it so if you look at mars for uh, virgo lagna it is okay. the third lord and eighth lord which is the most functional malefic for virgo lagna okay and uh it and it is in the 12th house and afflicted so in your experience sir i'm just i'm just asking so you can correct me do you what do you think sir do you think virgo lagna i mean this is completely out of place there's uh, <laughs> yes, i mean you, you don't have to think at all you, we don't even because, have to think about it that yeah, you know because it it's like ma- it is a complete kaleidoscopic change from the previous lagna it is like miles apart right it's some something yeah. totally different so, and also you see a lot of grahas in the 8th house and 12th house well there are a lot of celebrities with so many grahas in 8th house and 12th house like for example amita bachchan so many people are there okay. but still will this person become in mars dasha no 8th lord in the 12th third lord in the 12th 8th lord with uh, you know 
yeah, it is not very clear, right? And even in if you look at okay, well, you can always say maybe you can say in D10 Mars is very strong, but that alone is it sufficient? I don't think so. No, so, no, no. so clearly, Kanya Lagna is not uh, showing the potential that Leo Lagna can show. And another right. very subtle nuance is that in for the case of a Leo Lagna, the Lagna Lord and the uh, you know that one nine Parivartana is involving Sun Mars. But here there is no Parivartana, nothing significant happening. So clearly it is like I am going to eliminate Leo, uh, sorry, Virgo Lagna. Virgo if Lagna, it is going to be yes. Virgo Lagna, then I, we have to be really surprised. Uh, what are we missing here? Right. So, no, 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 no. It is impossible. Correct, sir. So, yeah. so if I actually move that next to, from um, Virgo Lagna to Libra Lagna, right? Now, well, maybe it could be Libra Lagna, but it is also the second lord and the seventh lord. So between... Uh, a yoga karaka planet and between second lord seventh lord well sec seventh lord is also kendra adipati but it is not such a great uh, kendra adipati like uh, because um, there is some amount of small tint, tint like saying that if it becomes uh, okay let us not even get into that correct if we get into the that we don't even want to get into that kendra adipati dosha and all but that between second lord and seventh lord and between fourth lord and ninth lord, if we, if I mean, a lot of people are going to watch this. I mean, and many fine Jyotishis are watching it. Students are watching it. We can be our best judge. What do you? What? 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 What is more convincing, sir? Something see the, just being they, see the problem is after I saw Simhalagna and all the Rajyogas all in one place, hmm. uh, or that to too many. Uh, you can make a long list of uh, you know the possible yogas. There is no way you can even think of another lagna. Correct, sir. Right, but of course uh, we could be biased just by looking at the might of it. One of the reasons I'm giving importance to this is, see, if uh, a, I mean he's an of Indian origin, right? Right. And if somebody like that can hold this position, it is it has to be something extraordinary in the chart. It's not an ordinary exactly. event, right? Uh, so we can always, yes. and you cannot resist, you know, somehow uh, bringing the Amatya Karaka and the Atma Karaka into the picture in, in some format or the other involving uh, Trikonas or Kendras. Whereas if if you get this, all of that is missing, right? Any other Lagna is missing. I don't know what you would say about uh, maybe uh, Sagittarius Lagna itself. That is yeah, different. Sagittarius Lagna, I kept it as the last thing because it is only for a 20 minutes or 30 25 minutes oh, frame. so okay. why why should we break our head when the pop when the statistical probability of someone being born between okay. 11 25 years so i just kept it aside so i didn't even okay. want to get into that for now okay maybe it is we are maybe we are unlucky it could be sagittarius lagna but mm. we, we keep it at last sir so okay. i thought now between libra for libra lagna also Mm -hmm. uh, mars becomes the second lord and seventh lord it is not so convincing as if it is as if it was Convincing for Leo Lagna, where it becomes a fourth lord and the ninth lord. Right? Okay. And another re reason to support Leo Lagna could be that, but by my final answer, I arrived at is not Leo Lagna. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I'm wrong. I arrived at Scorpio Lagna. I'm going to explain why. Okay. But Leo Lagna has another reason to support it because his seventh lord mm -hmm. will be along Rahu Ketu, which means that he should marry someone who is of foreign origin. Of and foreign has, origin. He is married, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the, the 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 daughter of uh, Narayana Murthy. So that is again again oh, something which okay. is very you know. But again, he is not running the Rahu Dasha, or, but but it need not be that he should run the Rahu Dasha. But anyways, that was okay. also one point which I had in my mind. Okay, so uh, that is one thing. But clearly, Libra Lagna was not really very much uh, you know uh, uh, kind of. Uh, uh, convincing for me, but between okay. Virgo is clearly out of the list. Libra, if I were to start scoring, right? Leo, I would give, let's say, 80 marks. Virgo, okay. I would probably not even give 20 marks. Hmm. Maybe someone else would give 30 marks or even 40 marks, but definitely Virgo cannot com even compete with Leo. And then if we come to Libra, Libra may be 40 or 50, but again, I don't know. Maybe, see, Mars is in the 11th house of victory, but Again, it is not very see, but but ah, another important thing, sir, for Libra Lagna, uh, Jupiter becomes the third and the sixth lord, which becomes a functional malefic. 
and it is not a kendra sthanadhipati or a trikona sthanadhipati and okay. it cannot form any massive mars cannot form yogas with jupiter and it can be 711 parivartana mars mm, mm. but still i would like to see a picture where you know uh, maximum kendra trikonas are being involved and some of my instinct said that jupiter should be either the fifth lord somewhere mm. so i'll come to it in a moment but but uh, i i was not very convinced about uh, libra being the lagna because it will be like mars is in the 11th house 7th lord in the 11th house with the 4th lord uh, maybe it is a case i don't know but i was somehow not convinced so now what we can how we can again address this is because um, if it if Ma, if it is libra lagna then he would be running the dasha of mars jupiter correct right now when he took his position is jupiter capable of is the 3rd lord and 6th lord in the 11th house not really so very tempting or uh, this thing so i thought okay maybe not maybe libra is not as bad as virgo but it is not as great as leo mm. but for someone like rishi sunak as you rightly said we want to see something very obvious so i am rejecting even libra mm. now next i am going to scorpio now i mean what? viewers are eagerly waiting for uh, how you are going to handle this scorpio lagna having seen so many advantages with leo yeah so for <laughs> now sagittarius i am just uh, you know some of my get my gut feeling says okay let's ignore it for now let's keep Correct. it as maybe if i'm if i'm extremely unfortunate maybe it is <laughs> sagittarius lagna but okay. now it should be somewhere between leo or scorpio okay okay uh, i think that's a logical thing right hmm. now now what i thought was uh scorpio is the lagna lord so now someone getting this fame during the dasha of the lord of the lagna okay that's an important another factor to bring into picture lord of lagna in 10th exactly sir aspecting hmm. back to the lagna strengthening the lagna okay and yeah lagna lord in 10th and it is not only uh, getting directional strength dikbala okay so it is not only getting dikbala and maybe with the direction you can also start saying that okay uk is in this direction but let's not get to maybe i don't know if we can do that much but mm. we let's not even go to that extent must but you know lagna lord simply without even going into the extent of lagna lord goes to 10th i am interested to see that lagna lord is ruled by a kshatriya graha mahas okay and 10th lord is ruled by another graha sun shatriya. which both are yeah Shatriyas. which both are grahas for politics okay now in leo lagna again it, it is not that it has to be that lagna lord and 10th lord should be ruled by sun and mars but that is giving one small clue oh hmm. maybe this is much more convincing and if you look at leo lagna 10th lord is venus okay so not so okay maybe it can it can even be leo lagna we don't know but scorpio lagna this is just the kind of feeling that went into my mindset mm. or intuition which uh, you mm. know uh, that i am just explaining so in scorpio lagna lagna lord is mars 10th lord is sun and we see that both this mars and sun which are indicating warriors politics are involved in a parivartana yoga so okay. this is one thing and lagna lord in 10th dikbala aspecting back to the lagna it is forming a 6th and parivartana so now it is also the 6th lord in the 10th not just the lagna lord in the 10th but 6th lord in the 10th now 6th house is the house of competition enemies and all that so now if you look at 6th lord in the 10th house and lagna lord in the 10th house now because there is there are some principles in some classics which says it can give the results of lagna lord in 10th it can also give the results of 6th lord in 10th so which means that he is working with his enemies and competitors but finally he is successful why because lagna is getting strongly activated because mars is aspecting back to the lagna and not to the 6th house so his he, his lagna is getting strengthened so he has and also in the formation of all these yogas where lagna lord mars is with the 5th lord with the 4th lord in the 10th house of public 10th house is okay. public 10th house is royal government correct rajyam rajyam so therefore and uh, mars is aspecting back to the lagna so it is it was very convincing that now of course if he is winning an election at the age of 42 there should be a lot of competition there should be a lot of enemies 
So I thought somewhere sixth house should come into play. If you modify that, sixth lord in the tenth, Marshi Parashara says Paradeshi. Even though oh. you may argue that he is born yes, in, uh, even though you say he is born in UK, he is not really that. He is an Indian only, of Indian yeah. origin, right? He is not that. So, so even if he is born there, you will have to treat UK as foreign only, Paradeshi only. And that Paradeshi right. has a Raj Yoga in it because of the six ten uh, Parivartana. So you get yes, an additional sir. point. I think that's a the, the, that point which you mentioned. Sixth Lord in the tenth Paradeshi is beautiful. Okay. I am just for <laughs> you. In fact, you are helping me uh, make okay, a very finalize. Okay, finalize Scorpio. Mm. <laughs> so, um, so now uh, Sixth Lord in the tenth all forming all these yogas. Now, now another important tool which will help me figure out whether it is Leo or Scorpio. Now I am going to bring in Charadasa into picture. Because okay. now, if if we know Leo Lagna, we know the Charadasha sequence. Okay. At oh, this yes. point in time, when he became the Prime Minister, mm. if we know Scorpio Lagna, we know the Charadasha sequence. Mm. Now, let us say because we are very very tempted about Scorpio, right? And and again, Mars is uh, you know uh, uh, Swakshetra in Mars Dasha lot is Swakshetra in D10, mm. and Rudra Amsha, which is uh, um, which is, uh, I saw something else, no, not Rudramsha, sorry, D4, which is Chaturthamsha, of course, if he's the Prime Minister. Okay. Of course, if he's the Prime Minister, then he should, fortune should also be good. He would, okay. he would build big, big buildings. Look at the okay. D4, Mars is very strong. This is again giving me a confirmation that it has to be Mars Dasha. Because D4 oh, okay. is showing a strong Mars. Okay. D10 is showing a strong Mars. Now, if I look at, I mean, we don't have to go all the way up to D60, but I'm just curious. I don't know what the state of D60 is. But considering I'm, considering that 10 downing is some, the best, no, 10 downing is the best place in, <laughs> yeah, you know, so to stay. It, yeah. It it misses uh, it misses actually in uh, uh, D60, but but okay. that's okay. We have enough mm. number of D4 and uh, okay. Um, and just for curiosity, let me check for a. Uh, mm. I mean, not oh, this is uh, this is. Oh, this, this uh, is not the regular. Uh, uh, Parashar Hora, yes. Okay, but anyway, in Ma, in Hora, it is very difficult to find. Out difficult, you can't find much. Yeah. It is not. It can either be only in sun sign or sun sign or moon sign. But yeah. yeah, so D four, it is very clear. Mars is uh, strong, and D ten also Mars is strong. That is giving me a further confirmation. So, okay. Now, how did I come to Scorpio Lagna? Now I will come to the uh, Charadasha. Charadasha, the great okay. beauty of the great legend Sri K N Rao, who has done amazing research. And who has done hats off to him? And you kept it under at, Yogini. Oh, sorry, sorry. So if I look at, uh, I'm sorry. I mean, I think it should be something to do with Mesha or uh, uh, you know Simha. So now, if I look at, uh, wow, super. Sir. I mean, he's reading the. He's it's reading easy the to guess. It's Aries. easy to guess that. Yeah. It, is it must Aries. be Aries. Yeah. Now, another principle that uh, if it is Scorpio Lagna and if it is Aries, mm. so we started off with this point, sir, that Sun, mm. Atma Karaka and Amatya Karaka mm. forms uh, superior Jaimini Raj Yoga. Okay. Aries is the sign. Okay, now I will have to change this to degrees plus Charakarakas. I know already people know that what is the AK and AMK, but Correct. just for better clarity, right? Now mm -hmm. we have arrived at Aries Tasha, right? Now I will just uh, take Navamsha for a minute and then make this North Indian chart so that people can follow in North Indian as well. And if I turn on the degrees and uh, Charakarakas, it is very clear that, you know, we just did all this logical interpretation and as you rightly out of your experience and, uh, you know, intuition, you said it should be Aries. Aries clearly has the AK. No, I said Aries yeah. or uh, Leo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So your first, first thing was correct. So AK okay. or no, Aries clearly has the AK, AMK. K -K. And both are very strong. Um, uh, you know, that is, I mean, sun is strong. And now if you look at this Aries, it receives the aspect of all the grahas from Leo. And wow. there are many yogas which says moon receiving the aspect from many grahas. Mm. Through Rashi Drishti. It is a Jaimini Raj Yoga. Okay. And then, you know, um, uh, then 
it also says it also forms all this ak pk ak dk ak mk <laughs> <laughs> everything yes everything. you you name it you got it right okay yes and also uh, if you look at uh, uh, um, you know uh, um, i just wanted to say something yeah so that is very clear and interestingly since we discussed about um, karakamsha lagna we dis- okay. we said that sagittarius is the karakamsha lagna okay um and if you see the beauty aries is the fifth from the garagamsha lagna forming the gk mk part yes fantastic now, mm. now if i use now if i use the system of kendra where he says for interpreting a particular charadasha don't just look at what are the planets in it he simply says a charadasha of a sign containing sun can give you some fame containing sun containing sun Correct. can give you number 1 Yes. In this case, it is an exalted sun. Number two. Ex- yes. Number three, it has Amatya Karaka. Number okay. four, it forms all those yogas. Number five, it is the fifth from Karakam Shalagda. Now mm. he uses another principle where he says, "Now use the sign of Aries as if it is the lagna." It mm. is the same principle which Maharishi Parashara has explained in the Dasha Dhyaya. Mm. if the bukti lot falls second from the mahadasha Correct. lot Correct. and all that now he mm. says use aries as if it is the dasha lagna mm. and look at what is going on with the 10th house mm. or what is going on with other key houses Correct. so clearly five, if you five maybe are, yeah yes five is again lagna five and now mm. it forms mm. a one five parivartana wow so oh that's it the reason why you are you are favoring uh, scorpio ascendant over leo Yes, so I am not able to see such a nice picture, and of course, one important clue was the sixth lord. I thought mm. somewhere sixth lord should be involved, competition okay. and enemies should be involved because it's not so easy. Mm. Number two, lagda lord and tenth lord should be solely Shatriya grahas like Sun Sun Mars. Number two, that was even more convincing. Number three, if you look at his dasha sequence, he was born. He should if he was born in the dasha of Ketu, fourth house Ketu. I think he. i don't know maybe that has got something to do with moving to a foreign country i think he was born in a foreign country so i don't think that has got anything to do with or fourth house ketu i think his mother was a uh, different from a uh, you know different i, I need to yes, check some the distance yeah uh, father yeah. is from uh, pakistan uh, no 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 yes. maybe uh, maybe grandfather was from pakistan and uh, i mean it's yeah. all doesn't matter because it was all india anyway, once it doesn't matter know, british so and also another thing is that if it is if so this is a very important point sir i wanted to highlight another convincing reason for scorpio sir you have taught us that you know for scorpio lagna the best uh, uh, raja yoga is the is the is the combination of the ninth lord and the 10th lord correct i mean that is maharshi parashara statement yes okay. so now if you look at the dasha sequence now oh, if he is the okay. prime minister of united kingdom Mm. he just can't become the prime minister overnight right it has to be like a member of parliament he should mm. slowly evolve over a period of time correct he got into the member of parliament at the age of 20 um, at the age of sorry uh, at in 2015 when he was running the okay. moon dasha moon now yeah. things start emerge mm. ninth lord in sambandha with the 10th lord with the 11th lord of victory oh. in the 6th with 6th house of enmity so okay. 9 10 yoga is being formed Okay. in the moon dasha itself even before he became the prime minister okay and now if you look at now chara dasha makes it very clear that if you use aries as if it is the lagna the 10th house becomes very strong 5th house Correct. becomes very strong exactly i rest my case sir i don't know yeah what more... it, yeah i think it is it it's too strong right if you say scorpio so, also now so i think i i mean i just uh, of course you are a very experienced teacher so we know what just... you can do now you can close this uh, i mean you have already saved it right so can you look at the movement right now in the sky what is for chennai we are both in chennai like we are we are having something to do with you know we are trying to figure out what is somebody something oh is it like a prashna so idea you sir? just use a prashna idea just say the now uh, now it is 10 39 pm when we finally decide to do it's random oh, okay. right That's it's really wonderful. yeah oh. and we might come with some some very interesting things uh, i mean that's how nature guides us the universe guides us and that's what i think yes. 
okay so chennai <laughs> madras yeah it doesn't show chennai you know that yeah mail you put as mail yeah and uh, okay uh, okay this is the now okay mm. uh, any repetition anything uh, the immediate mm. thing that comes to my mind sir moon mm. is in the sign of mars can that be a good idea sir very nice so at least you were uh, <laughs> you were right on target that uh, that moon is not in pisces Okay. Wow, that is yeah. Yeah. so. This itself is <laughs> at least this much we got. <laughs> this much we got for the time being. Okay, now and, let's try to. Another thing is that another thing is that in the Prashna mm. Lagna, Mars is ah. the Yoga Karaka. Well, that that can one minute, be the one minute, with one minute, one minute. Ah. Can you look at the moon um, in terms of uh, Shastiyamsa? The moon okay. in Shastiyamsa. So what I should do is probably I should show this. Uh, you know this kind of. we have been shuttling between the yeah, uh, sorry that, yeah, yeah. yeah. sashti amsa now if you right? show me where is moon in sashti amsa that is a finest division right uh, 160th of a sign okay uh, so that so is some, more of like drida so, something Kampong. yeah something might show up uh, in sashti amsa wow where is that that's it? like that's it it's like wow wonderful sir did this give you any kind of a hint that you asked me to check in sashti amsa sir otherwise I, no, no. Sashti Amsa is the most minutest uh, uh, division, right? Because no, that yes, is. Yes, sir. A... But 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 what I'm asking is, just looking at the degrees of the moon, did you get some kind? No, of no, 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 no. That, no, it is that, not from you know, that. Moon... No, 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 no. I always use the Sashti Amsa because you can't divide a sign further than that. Okay. Now comes a very interesting point. If you go to moon in and uh, no, not only just in Sashti Amsa. if you if you try to get the uh, you know uh, here we can use the 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 sublord theory of kp system oh, where okay. if you can get me the sublord of moon because you know the okay. star is only ketu right it is ashwini right but if there is any way you have another screen where uh, uh, kp system it just shows you the sub sub of uh, the moon Oh okay okay so let me try to find out so kp oh sorry kp significator stable no ms b it must come up here yeah moon planet lord is mars wow that's all you it's vrishika lagna it. it's vrishika lagna oh okay because moon lord is mars yeah because we are now looking at whether it is leo or vrishika yeah so if the if the sub lord of the moon in when the question is being asked Mm-hmm. You get Mars. It's a Mars sign, right? So Vrishika Lagna is Mars. Oh, I see, I see. Superb, sir. So <laughs> that's that was like. If it was Sun, uh, I would have said Leo. Okay, but it is okay. in this. The, I mean, this is just an idea. Maybe yeah. you, yeah, you might see a lot of similarities uh, between the now chart uh, if you start yeah. doing something uh, on it. Hmm? Sir, and simply because, simply because hmm. we are discussing his profession, the beauty hmm. is that Moon is sitting in the tenth house. Okay, yeah, it's somebody's it uh, career, somebody's career. And Lagna, okay. sir, another interesting point, sir. Lagna lot goes to tenth in the Prashna chart. Lagna lot goes to tenth. The... Yeah, correct. Yeah, so we got one more point. Again, giving me a hint that in his, uh, you know, Janma Lagna, Lagna lot could possibly go to the tenth. This is okay. a nature way okay. of saying that. you know all that mm. if you and go another... back to uh, the chart uh, rishi's chart you see if you take the uh, navamsha mm-hmm. sun is in sagittarius right oh navamsha right mm. okay i should no uh, divisions uh, yes yes so let me put all the divisions. indian south indian i have a t- tough time with the north indian uh, chart yeah sun mm-hmm. yeah is in uh, this place so you know the karakamsha lagna is also this yes the kl e- even even though we are supposed to transport the karakamsha lagna from navamsha to rashi chart yet okay. you can get lot of clues even if you place it on the navamsha wow. itself wow hey, beautiful sir first and, in, and then you get the, the again the sir, yeah akmk repeats yes this is the point okay And also that AM, AMK is involved in a parivartana with Jupiter. That is also given. Yeah, that's an additional stuff. point. Yeah, that's all additional, additional. point. So, yeah. uh, I think in um, uh, okay uh, after K and Rao, he stressed mostly on you know shifted 
back to the rashi chart because it right. makes sense because all the individual lagnas like gatika lagna hora lagna everything is where only in the rashi chart how can you have kale only in the navamsha chart yeah correct in but fact, you can read he, lot of call it yeah, yeah. In, in fact he goes on to call it swamsha lagna yeah so that swamsha lagna you can mm-hmm. you can also read it and and get some additional clues so again you are seeing the political planet and i think saturn there might be in, you know additional point because today election uh, democracy is all ruled by saturn yeah being a monarch a king is ruled by the sun but elections fighting for uh, the poverty fighting to save people's you know because that is his agenda right as a right. when he was the uh, you know he was before the pm he held positions where he created a lot of ideas uh, for solving problems Right. of uh, poverty and uh, you know things like that i mean i'm just adding point but uh, looks like you know even without the actual lagna we got a lot of things straight from karagamsha lagna we got from the charakarakas i mean this is mind boggling right. i should say i think this will be uh, something uh, you know a treat for astrology lovers <laughs> no i mean world. if we get to know if someone uh, gets to you know uh, i'm sure like people who have access to the astro data bank or the the uh, the yeah, publish okay. i mean the astro data bank we- website owners if they come across this video i humbly request them to you know try to find the so it's it's just a great uh, research okay idea. okay <laughs> what is saying also, is there must be some records about when he was born in a hospital or or something yeah like yeah that. yeah because uh, uh, the astro data bank is the team that does a lot of intensive research and in, in fact thanks to them without them you know we Could not have had the uh, at least uh, yeah you know you, if if astrology has developed this much you know with respect mm. to accurate birth times I think it's that repository which has really helped uh, you know but apparently you know we don't have this uh, time for this exactly. for, for for Rishi Sunna maybe in future they will come get to know and it will be up to date you know but uh, yeah and now now it gives me an interesting thing is that maybe now that we know we figured out that Scorpio is the lagna. Uh, you do you think there is any idea which talks about his seventh lord in the eighth like maybe uh, that highlights that his uh, um what do you call it? like his wife should be somewhere linked to narayana but i think it might be a little bit of overstretch or kill but yeah 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 no no right now we'll <laughs> stop here because we are so confident about his uh, you know his political success and i said that this is a kind of a, an extraordinary yeah. raj yoga so uh, so i just wanted to just finish just with one point Mm. and uh, um you know which which talks about why uh, and the antardasha of charadasha and the beauty of that charadasha antardasha is that irrespective of whatever time you were born within the two yeah. hour time frame oh unlike yeah. vimshotri dasha where the bhukti lord will change okay charadasha won't change correct so whether whether the ascendant was at 1 degree scorpio or 29 yeah, degree yeah, scorpio yeah yeah i mean that's an advantage now if you look at what is the uh antardasha it is the sagittarius antardasha correct now that and he became prime minister last month so sagittarius is the antardasha antardasha now if you correct. now if you look at sagittarius it's the karakamsha lagna from mm-hmm. where fifth from karakamsha lagna has the gemini rajayoga combination correct correct and so, from that from sagittarius is the lagna the ninth house becomes very strong yes. fifth house becomes very strong and uh, simply from aries sagittarius falls ninth i mean in in other words in d9 in d9 uh, sagittarius sorry uh, d9 sagittarius is the sign which contains the ak mk combination correct so i think uh, do you think we need I, to do part 2 after a month uh, uh, looking at yeah, all maybe, the comments yeah maybe after the comments sir <laughs> yeah we we can <laughs> do a part 2 on this yeah part 2 okay. on this i mm-hmm. think uh, even if jemini is somewhat new to some people mm-hmm. i think with with the kind of uh, logical interpretation that we came using vimshotri dasha okay. that itself should be you know gives a lot of people i'm sure a lot of people will view the comments so okay. i thank you for giving this opportunity of course you are one of okay. my most important teachers and i thank all my great gurus and the 
you know, with the blessings of the Lord, Let, we will end this. Yes. So Let's thank uh, Maharshi Parashara, Maharshi Vashishta, Maharshi Brihaspati, yeah. uh, Maharshi Jaimni. Yeah. I mean, you endless, right? There are so many Maharshis, yeah, so many teachers. teachers. And, and now yes. our modern teachers like uh, K.N. Raoji, we all have to bow down and say thank you so much for giving us this wonderful knowledge. Yeah. Thank okay. you so much for taking this time and uh, helping me present this. Sir. Thank you so much. We'll do more. Okay. We'll I'm, do more. I'm indebted to you. Thank you. Jai Sai Ram. Okay.